The Space Shuttle Discovery is finally heading home today. After two postponements and several hours behind schedule, Discovery, secured atop a modified Boeing 747 aircraft, made its way east to Kennedy Space Center in Florida. It took flight a little after 8 a.m. local time from Edwards Air Force Base. Uh, we have to make sure everything is completed exactly the way it's supposed to be completed before we do a takeoff. The flight originally scheduled to fly out at sunrise was delayed two and a half hours because a minor repair was needed on the thermal blanket. The safety inspection also took longer than expected. NASA's number one priority is the safety of the astronauts and the safety of the shuttle or other uh, equipment that they have and the other people involved in NASA. That's job number one. Uh, everything else is secondary to that. The Space Shuttle Discovery took off just moments ago at the runway behind me at 8.31 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time on its way to Altus Air Force Base for its first leg on its journey back to Kennedy Space Center. It arrived about three hours later after refueling the 747 Discovery continued on the second leg of its trip and landed at Barksdale Air Force Base in Louisiana, where the tandem unit will stay overnight. It is scheduled to arrive at Kennedy Space Center tomorrow afternoon on the final leg of the 2,200-mile trip. Back at Edwards, lifelong NASA employees and one future astronaut are inspired by the Discovery crew's successful mission. I think I want to go over it around the Earth and maybe to the moon if they still have it. But if not, then I'll go to Mars. Leland Kim, TVK News, Edwards Air Force Base.